Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to the channel. Recently, Nintendo showed off a plethora of Mario games in their latest Nintendo Direct, geared towards celebrating Mario's 35th anniversary. Among these games was Mario 3D All-Stars, which is a game that I can safely say many of us are looking forward to with great anticipation. But I have noticed a lot of people online are a little upset with two facets of this game. One, the fact that it's a limited time offer, and two, because it carries a $60 price tag. And what I'd like to do today is go over why I feel things like the price tag are merited and why this limited time offer could lead to greater things from these games and future Mario games. Firstly, let's talk about the fact that by March of next year, this game will no longer be on the market digitally or physically. Now, I do feel the same way as a lot of people, it is kind of a bummer, but it makes me wonder what Nintendo has in store after these games are taken off the market. For one thing, we could potentially expect a revision of the Virtual Console, where these games are released individually for an appropriate price, thus leading the way for other games from that console to enter the marketplace. We could also potentially see Nintendo add these respective consoles to the Nintendo Online service, with these games being some of the flagship titles for those services, which I think is a very plausible idea and a really good idea, to be honest, when you think about the fact that Next year, Nintendo has to worry about these next generation consoles and finding interesting ways in order to entice consumers to still want to buy the Nintendo Switch. The newfound interest in these titles might also pave the way for potential HD remasters to be made, much like the quality remasters that were made of Legend of Zelda Wind Waker and Twilight Princess on the Wii U. Especially when you look at a game like Wind Waker where character models, lighting systems were all modified to make the game look more up to date. So I feel this leaves a lot for us to think about and wonder what Nintendo has up their sleeve. Next up is the price point, and this is a big one because a lot of people are very much against the $60 price tag when you look at games like the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy and the Spire of the Dragon Trilogy, which were both made from the ground up graphically. To this I say it's not the same thing. This is a limited time offer and it's also an anniversary collection. It's something that respects the original games in a way that I really do appreciate. I mean, each one of these games is going to look substantially better than their counterpart. I mean, across the board, all three of these games are going to look cleaner, crisper than they've ever looked before. But games like Mario Galaxy and Mario Sunshine are both going to be so clean, so crisp, that you're going to be able to appreciate details that were already in the game before, but are now on the forefront because of that clarity. So I'm really excited to see how these packages end up looking at the end of the day, especially on the Switch screen. But the way I look at it, when you take note of the prices of both the Wii games and 64 games on the Virtual Console of the Wii U, you start to get a better picture of how this game was actually priced quite appropriately. GameCube games never made it to the Virtual Console on the Wii U, which is unfortunate, but I imagine it would have been priced right in between the N64 and the Wii. The N64 game selling for on average $9.99 and the Wii game selling for $19.99. So I imagine GameCube games would have been $14.99. Now when you take those into consideration and you add just $5 to each one of those games, you see it paint a very accurate picture of what a collection like this should cost. Mario 64 going up to $15, Mario Sunshine going to $20, Mario Galaxy going to $25, which all adds up to $60 which makes sense. And that price tag, I think, is very fair of adding $5 to each game, considering how much better the games are gonna end up looking. Then you tack on top of that the fact that you can listen to all of the music from all three games in one setting, where all the songs are displayed. I find that to be a really cool little feature, and I'm excited to see if there are any other little features that Nintendo might have not even told us about in this package, because that's a very probable thing that they might have done. Anyway guys, I'd like to know what you guys think about this package. Are you upset about this limited time offer kind of situation? Are you upset about the price tag? Are you thrilled that the game's coming out? Are you excited to get it? Let me know down in the comments below. And until next time guys, thanks for playing.